How's it going everyone? My name is Ross Miner and today is going to be a pretty special video because I have been given an OrCam My Eye by the creators of the OrCam to review and demonstrate on my channel. So this is really, really, really exciting. First off, thank you to OrCam for providing the camera. Just thank you, thank you so much. Furthermore, there's a Black Friday sale for the OrCam where you can get nearly up to 25% off the camera and that goes on until the 26th. So if you pick one of those up, use a link down below from my channel, you're also helping out my channel as well. All right, so what is the OrCam? Well, I have it right here and the OrCam is this. It is, I'm holding a pair of glasses with the camera on the side of it, but it is actually just the camera. The camera magnetically attaches to, these are just the demo glasses that they gave us, but this is a smart camera essentially that uses AI to read things in the world around me or whoever wears it. The thing with wearable assistive technology is that a lot of people have ideas, but many of them aren't that good or aren't well thought out. However, with assistive technology, while there are some downsides, it can also be used to greatly complement someone's life and just assist them throughout their daily life. The OrCam is a device I've been wanting to try for a while because it really seems like they put a lot of heart and effort into this product and I think it's really worth trying out and demonstrating and letting you guys know what it's like before you buy. So what exactly can the OrCam do? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and put these on and we are gonna find out. All right, so right there it just said OrCam My Eye version 9.0 is ready, and then it just read out the battery as well as mobile app connected. So a lot of information to unpack there. But before we even get into the features, I just want to point out how sleek and slim this device is. So right here on this side, you have the two magnets that snap on just like that. It actually comes with three mounts that you can put on any other pair of glasses. So if you don't like these, then that's okay. However, the thing about the demo glasses is that they're very lightweight and easy to put in your pocket and you don't have to worry about like breaking them or the lenses because they're just demo glasses. And that's something I really think that complements well with the OrCam just because of how sleek it is. It's almost the size of, or maybe even a little bit smaller than just a USB drive. And on the front is obviously the camera. On the other side is a little touch slider bar thing um, that all you have to do is touch to take a picture or you can swipe to turn the volume up or down. And then on the very back is a cool little magnetic USB charging port. When wearing the OrCam, it's actually very, very comfortable to wear. It's not bulky at all, not heavy. The manual actually recommends wearing sturdier glasses, but even the demo ones I find is great. Obviously you don't want to like shake your head around too much. I mean, I can even do this and it's fine, but if you're going to like rapidly shake your head, it may fall off because it's magnets, but otherwise it is on very, very well. So what can the OrCam My Eye do? So just to kind of list everything, and I may miss a couple, it can read text, it can read products, it can detect faces, it can read currency, it can detect colors. It even has voice commands that allow you to use the OrCam pretty much hands-free. Something I like about the OrCam My Eye is that they're always adding new features to the device. For example, there's a feature right now that's in beta called object detection that will detect things like stairs going up, doorways, or even chairs. This is something I'm personally excited for because when I'm walking around with Dixie, a lot of the times she tends to just walk past chairs. Every guide dog, you know, has their faults. So that's kind of Dixie's. And so it'd just be really nice to just take a picture of a room and know where a chair is because it'll tell you things like chair to the left, chair in front, chair to the right. It's pretty cool. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is text detection. And I have a little user manual provided by OrCam that we're going to be using. And the way it works is really cool. So the OrCam My Eye is practically powered by pointing. A lot of the times, whether you want to check the color of something, whether you want to read text or look at a product, point. And it's really cool because it's it's nice 
that it's hands-free. A lot of assistive devices, or even like using seeing AI on the iPhone, you have to hold up the iPhone so you're taking one hand free and just pointing with a camera is, is really difficult when you're completely blind. And so that's another thing I like about the OrCam is that it, it mounts to the glasses, obviously. So all you have to do is look where you want to capture. Right now I have the user manual held open in front of me and I'm just going to point at it and take a picture. Oops. Probably would help if I had it on. All right, so I'm gonna raise my finger and point. And then right there, I just put up my hand to mute it or pause it, because that's really nice. And OrCam My Eye is kind of filled with all those, or a bunch of little, little cool little features like that. So for example, I can hold up my wrist and it'll tell me the time. And it's really responsive for such a small device. Um, I'm actually pretty impressed. Another way to read text that I really like is called smart reading. Essentially what this does is you take a picture of whatever you want to read and then you can kind of control OrCam II with your voice and kind of pick out what you want to read. Because let's say, you know, <laughs> I took a picture of this manual and like started reading everything and I'm looking for something specific. It's not going to be easy. However, with smart reading, I can, let's say, let's say I'm looking for how to charge it. I could take a picture of the page and then say, find charge. All right, so I'm gonna take a picture of the manual and then I'm gonna look for something to find. Hey, OrCam, smart reading. Ready. Read everything. And from there, you can tell the OrCam My Eye, as you saw, to read everything, but you could do really cool things like find this or find dates or find phone numbers. And so it just allows you to go through pages so much quicker than I, I would have thought possible with technology like this. And now a really cool thing is that once you've scanned a page with smart reading, you can move your head around. You don't have to keep looking at the page because that, that, would, that would be a pain. Read everything. Find documents. And so yeah, and then once it finds whatever word you asked it to find, then it'll read the sentence that it's in. I could I could keep going on about smart reading. It's obviously very powerful, but for the sake of the video, gotta keep it shorter. Um, but there's a lot of different ways you can navigate through text, find information with your voice or by touching the swipe bar. Lastly, if you want to just simply read text, you could just touch the bar and it'll just take a picture of whatever you're looking at. And I know this is a question that a lot of people were going to be asking me and I got you guys covered. Obviously, I'm a gamer. And so my question was, will this work on handheld gaming devices? Will this work on screens? Will the OrCam My Eye work in places where I'll use it the most? And the answer is yes. The OrCam My Eye works very well on something like a Nintendo Switch. Right now I have my Nintendo Switch and I have a Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and I'm going to demonstrate just how it works. All right, so right now I just have my Pokemon up on the screen. I'm gonna take a picture of the screen. So yeah, there you have it. And you may have noticed that saying skip the line of one unreadable text. And what I've learned is that a lot of the times it doesn't mean that it, it couldn't recognize text, but that it recognized a picture and that it's skipping over it. And that is something I actually learned through the OrCam My Eye training lesson, essentially, you could call it. Um, you can connect with a personal trainer to kind of show you how to use the device. Because the thing is with assistive technology is that they have learning curves. You know, just look at screen reading software, for example. It, it takes blind people a while to learn those. 
and very similar to the OrCam My Eye. For example, I have a habit of looking too high when taking a picture of books, but when I was with the OrCam trainer, they were like, no, you have to look down a little bit more. And once I did that, I was like, oh, okay. So either I had to look down or just kind of level it more. I, I guess I just tend to look up. <laughs> Lastly, I won't demonstrate it, but I will talk about it, and that is automatic page recognition. And essentially what this does is that if you're reading a book and you turn the page, it'll snap a picture of it and start reading that to you. So you don't have to like turn the page, click, turn the page, click. That'd be very, very tedious. I've also had the opportunity to use the OrCam My Eye while reading menus at restaurants. Something I found useful was smart reading because I would just take a picture of the menu and then say, find chicken. And it would tell me everything that had chicken in it. So it was really cool. However, then this begs the question, well, how will you be able to hear it in a restaurant? Because it is a small device with, let me be honest, not the best speaker. I, I do think it could be improved, but a good way to mitigate that is through Bluetooth. And you can connect any pair of Bluetooth headphones to this. And OrCam actually provided me with a pair of Bluetooth earbuds. So that's great. If you don't have any, not a problem. You could just use these. But if you have something cool like AirPods, I bet these would be a sick combo to do. I, I wish I had AirPods so I could try that. Moving on, we're gonna talk about product detection. OrCam can detect products that you hold in front of it and basically tell you what it is from a database of products essentially throughout the world. So for example, if you have a bag of Doritos and you hold it up in front of you, it won't say, you know, nacho cheese Doritos and like start vomiting out all of the, the ingredients and stuff. It'll just say nacho cheese Doritos because it'll recognize it from the product database. If a product isn't in the database, you can actually add it yourself. And I've actually yet to find a product that wasn't in the, da the database. Basically how it works is that after you go through a few steps of scanning it into the camera by pointing at it from different angles, you can record your voice saying what the item is and it will recognize it next time you look at it. My thing is I wish you didn't have to say your voice because like let's say I had a product that I had scanned in. I, I, I would prefer the TTS to say it instead of just me going bag of chips or whatever, you know? Something I forgot to add is that when you take a picture of a product, you don't exactly have to know where the barcode is necessarily. It will extract that from the picture, which I really like. So it's not like you had to get an exact estimate of where the barcode was, unlike seeing AI, which is something I struggle with. As long as you know where the general direction of the barcode is, you can easily get the information of the product. And even then, it'll only take a couple tries if, if it's on the other side, for example. The last thing I will say about product detection is that it was really, really useful when getting groceries because I don't know, I just don't like the idea of having my phone in one hand and then like having whatever else and like trying to point and like, it, it, it's just really tedious. But with OrCam, I could just raise my finger point and it tells me what it is and I can put it in the pantry. It was it was just a breeze uh, just sorting my groceries. But the thing is, it, it even extends beyond that in the kitchen because when it comes to cooking, even reading like spice containers, you know, they're round, they're pretty small, OrCam read them perfectly. And it was really nice to just kind of open the pantry, get the spices I needed and close the pantry. It was really nice. One feature that the OrCam does have is object recognition where essentially you can scan any object in and it will tell you what it is. However, uh, it's bad. It, it's pretty bad. Okay, let me let me rephrase that. It's bad with smaller things. Um, with bigger things, it, it definitely doesn't have a problem with, especially like if you hold them, because the way it works is that it wants you to point and like scan it, or like point several times and like scan where it is. Um, like you kind of need arm room to do that when it's oops, oops. When it's something closer, it it, it really struggles to even see what the product is. Um, which is sad because I don't know if you guys can see my Funko Pops on my bookshelf behind me, but I thought that'd be a really cool way to kind of like scan which Funko Pop is what. That way, like if someone had a huge collection, for example, it would work. Um, the thing is, though, is that the OrCam My Eye is always being updated. They've kind of made that clear over the years. This, this product has been out for, uh, what, like at least five years, I think. And I, I've done my research and they've continuously add new features. 
Next up, we have color detection, and I have a shirt on a hanger in front of me. And so all you do, you don't even have to like say anything. All you have to do is just point and hold, and it'll tell you what color it is. Bada bing, bada boom. One thing I have noticed about the Orcam My Eye that I'm not a huge fan of is how much it requires light, which is understandable, right? Don't get me wrong, but it does have flash built in, but even then, sometimes it tells you when the light level is too low, which is nice, don't get me wrong. Um, but keep that in mind when you're detecting colors or taking pictures of text, things like that. Next up, we have currency, and this is just as simple as putting it in front of the camera. $1. I'm rich. Uh, that's all the money I have to my name. P please uh, subscribe on Twitch. No. But yeah, reading money is very, very simple. Nothing much to it. Lastly, the Orcam My Eye has facial recognition. And this sounds cool, right? But kind of similar to seeing AI and just other facial recognition apps, like it, it's it's almost a little irrelevant with the way it works because it's not a constant stream of it looking for a face. You actually have to take a picture and look for a face. Um, and so the only time I would imagine using this like is in a room looking for someone, but I, I've kind of tested it with that. It, it, it really only works well when they're like right up in front of you. Um, and so, not very useful for me. However, for someone like who's deaf blind, I don't know. I think it'd be cool to like have this and like c connect it to like a, a to a braille display, and then maybe it would be nice for people who are deaf blind because then they could know what's in front of them. I, I I don't know. I'm just kind of I'm reaching there a little bit. But those are roughly all the features on the Orcam My Eye as of now. Obviously, more features are always being added, and I didn't get to cover everything as in depth as I want to, but yeah, there you have it. So here's the number one question. What do I, Ross Miner, think of the Orcam My Eye? I think the Orcam My Eye is a very, very innovative device. Many companies have tried to create a smart camera, and I think this is by far the best one on the market. It can be used in multiple different settings. It's fast, it's lightweight, it's sleek, and really all the features are implemented I would say beautifully. I I don't I don't really say that often for technology, but it's very clear from the way that this product was built through the magnets, the voice commands, the touch bar, just all of it that they try to make as hands-free as possible, as accessible and universal as possible, and it's really noticeable. Lastly, the Orcam My Eye is really suited to fit anyone's needs, whether they're right-handed or left-handed, whether they want it on a different pair of glasses, whether they want to listen through Bluetooth. And I also didn't even go into all the settings. You can adjust the voice, you can adjust the rate, the volume. There's even a mobile app where you can do it all through that. But if you don't have a phone, you can literally adjust all the settings right on the device itself through swiping. So it's really cool. The Orcam My Eye also has a lot of different accessories. For example, like this lanyard that you can hang around your neck. Oops. <laughs> And that way you can hook the OrCam onto this and always have it right there when you need it. There's even a cool little battery pack that you can use that has a clip on the side of it, but that you can also just put the OrCam in, it magnetically locks in and charges it. So with a device so small, it has up to three hours of battery life of continuous use, but that's okay because you have a portable charger like this or just how fast it charges. By the way, I forgot to mention that. It charges up to full within 40 minutes. So. Let's say you're traveling somewhere, the battery's low, you can just plug it in while you're sitting down and doing whatever, and it's ready to go again. With a device as advanced as the OrCam, you certainly wouldn't imagine it to cost, you know, as little as a disposable camera. But you don't expect this thing to cost as much as a car. But you certainly wouldn't expect this to cost three times as much as the latest iPhone. And really, that's my biggest gripe with the OrCam My Eye, is that it's just way way too overpriced for its target audience. And I understand, you know, blind people, there's a lot less blind people in the world, but having a camera that costs this much will deter people away no matter how fancy or intuitive the technology is. Because truthfully, this is something that will enhance someone's life, but it's not essential like a cane or a wheelchair. So what you're left with is 
a blind person probably thinking, well, why do I need this device if I have an iPhone? And the truth is, yeah, the iPhone can do a lot of things, but so can the OrCam My Eye. And I, it, it really does enhance my life because there are, there are a lot of things that it can do better than the iPhone um, with the apps that it has and just more efficiently. Obviously, there are some things that the iPhone can do better, but I've, I've, I've constantly found that the OrCam is, is better at recognizing text and things like that, for example. So is this device overpriced? Absolutely. Would more people buy it if it were at least the price of an iPhone? I absolutely think so. And you'd still be making a lot of money uh, from the blind community. Like I said at the beginning of the video, there is a Black Friday sale going on right now where you can get up to 25% off. And that ends the 26th of November. Furthermore, if you do buy an OrCam off of my channel, then it helps out the channel a lot. Promise you. So to summarize, do I like the OrCam? Absolutely. Has it helped me a bunch in my life? Absolutely. It makes sorting groceries, cooking easier. It makes reading a possibility. I used to love reading when I could see it and just, I don't know, being able to hold a book is a really cool feeling. It even allows me to game easier because being able to sit with my Switch in hand is actually really nice rather than wiring it through my computer and a capture card and using technology that way. This way I could just lounge on my beanbag over there and just play video games. It's flexible, it's versatile, and that's where I feel like it really shines because you can take it anywhere with you. And you don't even have to worry about losing it because in the app, you can actually ping it just like you can with an Apple Watch or an AirTag. But that just about concludes this OrCam My Eye review. Thank you so much, OrCam, for providing this to me. It, it's truly been an amazing experience getting to test it and just being able to tell people how great this technology is. So feel free to check it out, everyone, and stay tuned for my next video.